Another undefeated team on campus is the beach volleyball team. They're two-time reigning national championships. They're looking poised to get a third starting 20-0 this season. And they're here to bring back your favorite game of agree, disagree, Rachel Frayne, Alexa Palermo. Thanks for joining me, ladies. Thanks for having Thank us, Jackson. Let's get right into it. There's a lot of superlatives you can use when you talk about this team because they've just been so dominant over the last two years, and including this season. They're led by the duo up front, Kelly Clays, Sari Hughes. They're looking for their 100th straight victory coming up pretty soon this weekend. So agree or disagree that Kelly and Sarah are the best duo in the history of collegiate beach volleyball. Really? That is agree. Easy money, Jackson. Wow. Okay, I'm glad we agree. I'm glad easy. we agree. For once. Uh, for once, yes. Um, I think they are the best duo in collegiate beach volleyball. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. Like you said, they have 99 wins and they're looking for their 100th on um, Friday. They have been named Pac 12 Pair of the Week uh, multiple times in their they just career. Just won this week. Yeah, exactly. Last week. Five times in the last two seasons. Five times. They're amazing, and I don't think you can get any better than they are. I mean, they haven't lost in two calendar years. <laughs> like, this, I can't even add anything to this conversation because it's just undoubtable. You think of the top beach duos in, in history, not even in college. Misty May trainer, Carrie Walsh. I think that's mm -hmm. kind of undoubtedly. What comes to mind, to mind for everyone. Of course. They didn't play in college together. You know, there is an age gap there. So what, you know, Kelly and Sarah are doing right now is setting this huge precedent for beach volleyball in college, period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the two leaders of the team, but the team as a whole has been so dominant. They've barely even been tested this year going 20-0. They have one or two close games, close matches so far this season. With how dominant they've been, with the fact that they've won two straight national championships, USC is a lock to win a third straight national championship. Agree or disagree? Oh, that little split decision here. I'm really disappointed in you. <laughs> well, I'm going to start this one. Yes, please. Because we all know I'm right here. Uh, USC is 20-0 this season. Yes. Number one in the nation. Then you've got Pepperdine and UCLA. Uh, Pepperdine, to give you a little perspective, is 13-1. and one. UCLA is 19-2. and two. USC's played both of them. They beat Pepperdine 4-1, to one, beat UCLA 3-2. to two. So, you know, the UCLA game is a little closer. But <laughs> they're just not even close. There's just... There's such a gap between the number one and then the two and three that I don't think there's a way that they can, that Pepperdine or UCLA or, you know, even your fourth and fifth team can come back to that. I just don't think that's possible in what's left in the season. Interesting. That's a, that's a fair perspective on the situation. But I think that anything can happen in sports, and I think that's one of the reasons all of us love sports. We just came off of a fabulous March Madness tournament. That we did. And uh, as we saw there, and it messed up a lot of our brackets, that <laughs> anyone can win. Fair. Um, and so whether you're ranked higher or you have a star player, like anything can happen. And as star as Sarah and Kelly are, they have a great win streak. There is someone that wants to knock them off of that 99 game win streak and it's even more motivation for them to do so. So they have to work even harder. If they can keep pushing in this direction, I think that they could definitely do it, but they have to keep working. Okay, I just have to add one more thing because you're just so wrong. Oh. Um, you don't really, I think what a lot of people fail to realize in volleyball is it's such a momentum game. I mean, momentum can absolutely rule the sport and they have not lost in two years. <laughs> like, I just, I, I don't see them coming back and losing to any team in, in this year. Well, let's move on to the next question. You mentioned momentum. They haven't lost in two calendar seasons. So here's a bit of a fun question. This beach volleyball team is the best team on USC's campus. Agree or disagree? There's a lot of good teams here. Yeah, there are. That's why I disagree, like you said. Okay, Fran. Uh, a little split over there. I'm oh. kind of both okay. right now. They haven't I'll lost in two years. I'll take this one then. Um, I disagree because, like you said, there are a lot of talented teams on campus. Um, let's start from the top. Football won the Rose Bowl. Basketball, most wins in program history. Water polo, like you said, 52-game win streak. So many teams. Men's golf, number one. Women's lacrosse, doing great short program, but they're doing well. I think that there's so many teams on campus that have different rivals, different schedules, different recovery times that it would be – it would – do them a disservice to compare them all together. I think there's so many talented teams and that you can't just pick one. I mean, clearly you're just not a fan of the speed volleyball team. <laughs> but, I mean, what, like what you said, women's and men's water polo both dominating, but they have such a long program history that, you know, it's, it's expected that they're going to play well, they're going to recruit well. This program is so new. This is the second year they're having an NCAA tournament right. for beach volleyball. Like, what these girls are doing on the USC team right now is just unheard of because it's never happened. It, it hasn't even existed for people to take it to this level. So I really think what they're doing is is different from those programs, mm -hmm. and it's a little similar to lacrosse, like exactly. you were saying, but, you know, lacrosse is yeah, struggling a little bit. 
but I think what they're doing here is just, it's special. It's new and it's setting up this whole ex expectation for beach programs across, across the nation. And what's for sure, whether or not they're a lock, whether or not they're the best young team on campus, they expect to win the national championship. And to continue the road towards that, the beach volleyball team has two matches on Friday, one against Washington and one against 15th ranked Arizona State.